Scorpios, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a look at the next 72 hours for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Of course, any information that you may be looking for will be listed in the description. And subscribe so you never miss a beat when I upload here on the channel. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placed them. Give me a general reading. Give me a general reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. First card we have is the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So you could be in a space to where you're getting real intolerant of someone's inconsistencies. You could be trying your best to be patient or you have been extremely patient when it comes to consistent effort in showing up in your job, let's say, or showing up consistently in a relationship. But if there has been this dropping of the ball from your person where they're not trying to show you a level of consistency or they're giving you mixy vibes you could be calling this out same thing with a job you could be trying to commit yourself solely to you know your career and it could be issues within your job that just kind of feel like a displacement like you're not able to do your job or to even enjoy your job or feel like you want to stay working there because of the you know unorganized nature of things or the schedule being all over the place money being all over the place yeah that's another big thing you could be looking at ways that you can have more stability around your finances because you could be experiencing highs and lows with money one second things are doing really really good maybe next second things are not as good especially if you work like in the service industry hmm now going into career and finance specifically we have the five of wands so for my scorpios who are looking at different jobs working in a different industry or just exploring other opportunities you could just be seeing there's a lot of competition out there doesn't mean it's impossible for you to get a job, but it's some stiff competition out there. Uh, it's important that you don't get discouraged. Just just step into your competitive bag in terms of really playing up your skills. Also with the Five of Wands, you could have a work environment that is super, super drama filled. Like the people you work with, they always are, you know, just in chaotic energy or it's a gossiping spirit within the workplace or just certain conflicts on the back end that, you know, show up with the management start to affect you being able to do your job. And that could be something you just are tired of. Now, going into love, we have the emperor in reverse. So you could be dealing with a Taurus and Aries, okay? You could be questioning whether or not you and this person really do have a grip on the relationship itself, okay? With Emperor Reverse, it could be a challenge with not wanting to like necessarily control your partner, but also questioning maybe if you can trust them. Hmm. For some of you, you could be dating somebody new and you could feel like you don't really have the authority to maybe ask them to stop talking to other people, but that could be something you want to do <laughs> or things that they post on social media. It could be certain things that maybe you don't like that they do, but you could feel like it's too early in the situation to address it. You could also feel like in, in certain ways, there's things that go on within a connection that you don't really have control over like where you and your person live or how your person is moving or whether or not your person feels like they want to express themselves to you okay now going into the possible challenge i do have the four of pinnacles so the challenge could be saving you could be wanting to put money away but there could be bills, expenses, things that are coming up where you're not able to put away as much as you would like to. Also with the Four of Pentacles, this could talk about 
wanting somebody to be a lot more open, open-minded, willing to try new things, willing to express themselves to you. And that could feel like that's not happening. Um, this could also feel, or this could also be a challenge of just wanting more stability, wanting to feel a lot more stable within how your finances are and feeling like maybe things aren't as grounded as you would like them to be. So this this 72 hour window, you could be trying to assess how to change that. Now the advice for you, I have the King of Wands. So this is to focus on what actions you can take and not on the things that you can't necessarily do anything about. All you can do is focus on how you're showing up, especially over this next 72 hours. And in you taking action on the things that have to be done, all the other stuff the universe is going to take care of. So just focusing on what you can control is the advice. Also, if there is a way you can re-inspire yourself and push yourself to feel motivated, whether that's through, you know, talking to somebody who inspires you, looking at certain, you know, art or doing certain activities, that could be a source of motivation in ways and re-spark something in you. I would also be mindful of acting on impulse. Okay, be controlled in how you act and not letting, you know, in the heat of the moment, moments <laughs> make you take certain actions. Now, outcome, we have the Nine of Cups. So there could be some sort of good news that comes out in the wash. There also could be just this moment of celebrating a personal goal that you accomplish. You could be in a space to where it's like, I didn't think that I would have, you know, successfully stopped smoking or I, I didn't think that I would have successfully got this job, but I did. Or, but you could be really feeling this sense of like, okay, I achieved this goal or like you're on the path of achieving a major goal for yourself. You also could be, for my single Scorpios, realizing that you just feel better doing your own thing like taking time out for yourself um being in your own energy especially if you've had people around you that have just bring or just have brung this negative like gossipy just lower vibing energy you could be realizing like you know what i just thrive when i'm in my own space But this is what I see. I hope that this was helpful and to give you insight. If you enjoyed, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.